Hi, this is Chris McClume with Fire Apparatus and Emergency Equipment Magazine. I'm here at 20, FDIC 2014, and this afternoon I'm talking to some representatives from Cocheck Company. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what Cocheck does for, for those that don't know yet, and then we're going to get into some of the coatings that you see on the fittings here. My first guest is John Swanson. He's the OEM account manager for Cocheck, and he's going to get us started with a little background on Cocheck. John? Thanks, Chris. Uh, Cocheck is one of the leaders in the industry of uh, products getting water from the source basically to the truck, and that includes suction hose, uh, strainers, adapters, valves. Uh, we also provide hydrant adapters, uh, such as this one, and we have many different coatings available with the hydrant adapters, and at this point I'll let Dave tell you a little bit more about the coatings. My next guest is Dave DiBiazio. He's the coatings technology sales manager for Kojak, and he's going to talk to us about the coatings that you see here. Dave? Thank you, Chris. What we'd like to talk about is some of the proprietary finishes that Kojak offers that you can't get anywhere else in the industry. One of the newer finishes we have is a full color hard coat, and that's used for color coating so that at night when you're, you're re reaching the destination, fire destination, you don't have to try and couple certain, certain threads with another one. You just go blue to blue, green to green, red to red. It's very quick, very efficient. Normal hard coat, when it's produced, comes in a very dark gray finish like you see here. And when you try and incorporate colors, it just doesn't work. You get a washed out red or washed out blue. We actually have proprietary finishes that produce a hard coat clear, like what you see here. Then when you incorporate the colors, you get true blues, true reds, true greens. You can do your color coating. You can also match your engine. Other companies will say to you that we can produce a color anodized. But what they're going to give you is a type 2 anodize because they can't produce a clear hard coat and color it. Problem with a type 2 is what you see here. That scratching is because it's soft and it's a thin coating. The difference with the Kocheck product is it's a true hard coat. It's up to 60 Rockwell. It's as hard as a sapphire. It doesn't scratch and it doesn't, it doesn't come off. It's durable when it scrapes against the road. If they drop it, they kick it along. You're not going to have to worry about it. Now besides, besides the blue to blue or mm -hmm. the green to green, and you just mentioned it a little bit here, but I'd like you to go maybe a little bit more into it. Talk about how, why these coatings are important to the fittings and, and a little bit more about how they protect them. Sure. Well, these fittings are exposed to a lot of different things. In some cases, they pump salt water, which is very corrosive to aluminum. In other cases, it's a very difficult environment. They're dropping the hoses. Sometimes they get dragged behind the trucks. Having these finishes on here takes aluminum, which is a very low Rockwell hardness, and makes it extremely hard. So it can handle the abrasion, it can handle the different problems that occur when you're on site. Also, the color coating allows you to match the engine, or really, it, it improves the efficiencies. You're able to just put the couplings together, get them set up, have the right thread with the right coupling. It makes for a much more efficient process on site. Plus, we have the ability to do multiple colors, colors like you see here or really any color that's your department's color or to identify a certain department or threads or where, what engine the product belongs to. And once you do that, I notice here you've got uh, code, you've got code check the size, of the, the size of the fitting on here. That's correct. How is that placed on there? Sure. We do this in, with a laser etching process. And that process we can make uh, customized to the, the individual departments. We can talk about what thread size this is. We can say it belongs to engine number four. We can put your city's information on there, whatever you need. And we're very good at doing one-offs or, or personalized uh, information on the different products. And I understand Kojak also has a product called Microlox. Would you, would you talk about that? Sure. Microlox is the first patent issued in 20 years in anodic coatings. And it's designed for corrosion protection. A lot of the environments, we have um, fire hydrants and that type of thing. There's a lot of salt on the roads from snow conditions. In areas where you have um, offshore oil rigs or, or down on the coast, they actually pump salt water to, to, to distinguish the fires. This is designed for corrosion protection. To put a perspective on it, a normal hard coat like this one requires 336 hours of salt spray testing without pitting to pass mill specification. Microlocks will go through 15,000 hours of salt spray testing without pitting. So any corrosive environment that you have, it's an excellent product for that environment. Also, a lot of times in that type of environment, brass is used. It's very expensive. People actually, actually steal the brass fittings and, and, and use them to, uh, uh, for scrap and, and to receive that money. And also you have lead 
content in the brass which washes back into the water systems. So the EPA can be difficult about the brass fittings. The aluminum with the Microlox is less expensive than the brass and it takes care of all those problems so you do not have to worry about that. And finally, should, uh, should someone not be at FDIC today, how would they get in touch with you to find out more about this? Okay, well they, uh, we have our CoCheck website online. They can certainly call us. We're located in Putnam, Connecticut. And we have distribution all across the country that sells the CoCheck product. All right, great. Well, this, again, this has been Chris McClune with Fire Apparatus and Emergency Equipment Magazine talking to representatives from CoCheck today. And uh, have a great rest of the show.